Hi guys, this is Vivek from Biker Baker and with me I have Benjamin. Today we are going to be working on his bike. As a matter of fact, he is going to be working on his bike. And uh, we will just see how to clean the inside of the headlamps. As well as how to make sure that you know the LEDs are fixed correctly. As well as the T1 bulb, T10 bulbs. So he's going to do all the job. I'm going to walk him through. And we hope that this video will help everybody else. So what we are going to do is Benjamin is going to start <coughs> taking off uh, the windscreen first be a little careful so that you don't want to drop it and scratch it leave that we will take it out later on it's all right it's all right all the parts are here now once we have got the visor off we will be taking this plastic cover over here second washer. second washer was there I already kept it over there so now the number plate yeah, yeah use the T correct that's the right one yeah, yeah. Now the number plate is gone, we are going to remove these two hex screws and these push locks. Push locks are very simple, you push it and you pull them out. Pull the panel down, side panels, this one and then once we have this disconnected, We'll be able to loosen it out from here and uh, actually I think we'll have to take it all off because the screw is inside so yeah we'll have to take it all off even the back one That's very high, highly tightened one, shouldn't be so tight. Top hex screws are removed, now the bottom one, yeah that's over. You will need a T, mm -mm. T. T at the back, just put T at the back. Nah, -uh. slipping, 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 slipping. So. This panel. So, this panel has to be taken out now. Pull from here. Then, from here. Hmm. Yep. From front. There's a clip lock behind, but at the bottom. Pull it out, pull it out. Similarly over here. There you go. Hmm. Okay. Leave it be, leave it be. Hanging over there, that's okay. Indicators. Now that we have able to access this bolt over here, Okay, so since we have the access, we don't need to take the fairing completely out, we can leave it hanging here. Once we do this, one bolt is here, another bolt is here, we will take them off, then this becomes free to come out. Bolts up. Now, before you take it out, get it out. Get it out. Hold it here. Yeah, pull it out. Bas, bas, wait, wait, wait. Now your two. So this is the T10 bulb wiring over here. Similarly over here. Talking lights. Okay. So pull it out. Just pull it out slowly. Keep coming. Yep. Out. Now these are your 
LED bulbs. This is the cap. So, <clears throat> what we are going to do is we are going to tell everybody how. No, no, leave it be. Uh, we just need to show how it has been fitted, so that everybody else can fit them. Okay. Most important thing. These are night eye LED bulbs and. they have been fitted without any modification to the casing so that is why they are getting pushed a little on the right, le right hand side but uh, having said that that's not a problem so normally what we do is ulta aayega video no pura smooth takleef ho jayega wait let's just stop and reload yeah again start it okay so every time you have to uh, install led bulbs what they need to do is they need to push this lock a little on the outside so that there is some space for the bulb to be fitted flat now as you can see both the sides the bulbs are sitting cross if you can close in you will see that it's actually got an angle over here see can you see that a slight cut over here so basically they are angled cross so they will never throw the right light correctly uh, what we will need to do is we will need to redo this If Benji is okay, it will take half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so we will have to do this, and uh, it's a good thing. Then in that case, we will disconnect all the crap, the lights, and take it out. This is how it looks. Mind you, never ever cut your rubber caps. Leave them as it is. Okay, we can simply use them as it is. We don't need to cut them. You cut them. You are asking for water to go in. Unfortunately, that happened to me. The service guy never told me, so you know uh, I had to retape the whole cap and put it back on. So what we are going to do is <coughs> we are going to sit somewhere and remove those bulbs and then refit them again. Sweet. So I, if you look from on top, so this is the front, right? This is the front side. Yeah. This is the low beam. This is the high beam. you can see that because it's protruding out mm. this is gone inside so the reflectors are basically very same to each other only thing is the socketing is little different this protrudes out which means it's little far behind hence uh, more focused beam this is more in front hence more scattered beam so now if you notice from on top if you look this is the cut but the bulb is not straight can right. you see it yep now the reason the bulb is not straight is because the lock is pushing it cross they need to extend the lock out so that the bulb sits straight and only when the bu bulb sits straight will the light fall correctly on the road mm. so what we are going to do is going to uh, take it out we will do the setting of the bulb lock over here and only then will be able to put the light back again so this is going to be a little bit of a task so some somebody is a smart ass who did not <laughs> do the job right all they had to do is take this out place it here correctly and see the standard fitting is not yeah. right yeah correct so it's what we need to do is we need to make sure that this 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 part of the lock doesn't touch the metal body right so mm -hmm. it will not push it so we will do that now we can pause it is it working yeah okay so i'm going to stretch it <clears throat> now it is stretched you can see this yeah uh huh this is out now what happens is, is after it locking? you no this is not locked right now what happens is after you do this the locking abilities will be completely difficult so what we need to do is we need to lock the plastic part first over here using a little bit of force
We're basically bending it into into the lock. Right? Bending it into the lock. Correct. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let her. There you go. So now, <coughs> if you notice, the lock is on the outer side. Mm -hmm. Instead of using this part, I'm using the back side of the lock. You can see it very clearly here. How this is pushing it here. It's supposed to be like this. It's right. now like this. Now with this one, our light fit perfectly. Fits nice straight. Obviously, after a lot of uh, pressure. old pressure, <laughs> it's become a little crooked, but it should be fine. It should not have too much of an issue later on. So now it's as straight as possible. Similarly, we'll do this. Mm -hmm. And once we do this, we will work on how to put the caps back on. So uh, obviously, the good thing is you don't cut the caps. So plug and play. You plug it play and you keep everything inside here. You shove everything inside mm. in this area. So there's enough room for the wiring to go in for allowing you to put the cap back on which helps you keep this dust cover intact. So now this side. <clears throat> Same story. Somebody did not take the effort of taking the plastic out and doing it, right? Pushing it on the edges. Mm. So basically it's getting pushed. It's running cross. I hope the body is slightly tilted now. Damn it. Tilt it. No, no stress. Same story. We make this straight. We angle it. Use a little bit of force. There you go. So it's as simple as that. You stretch the wiring over here so that it splits out and instead of using the outer edge, put stress but don't push onto the fairing, just onto the part that you want to move. There you go. Both the balls are in place. Send it on. That's my wife Steffi. <laughs> yeah, I saw you guys in the first video I watched. <laughs> That's how I got this bike. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, now this is properly done. Nice. What we will do is now we'll, I'll just show you how to put the cap back on without cutting it off, and then we should fit it back on. Let's do it. So uh, come, Kalu. Yeah, Kalu. In turn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Okay, so that you are aware, we have a push locks over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. but before we do that, yes. we need to reconnect the wiring. We we'll have to start the bike just to check that the wiring is connected positively. Key okay. on. Put the high beam on. Not connected properly. No. We turn it around. Yep. 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 So this wiring is done. Similarly, we'll do this one. Yep. Done? Yep. Right? Yes. Okay. These are already connected. Okay. So now, it's as simple as that. You shove everything inside. And you put the cap on. 
This side done. Same thing here. Shove everything inside. Put the cap back on. And always make sure that your bike is not so greasy. Tell the bugger not to put the bike greasy. You can see the t-shirt. <laughs> My wife is going to kill me. Okay, Anka. You can put it off. Right? This yeah. is done. Simple. Nice. Now the lights are straight. <laughs> we will adjust them a little bit against the wall. Oh, the you have not done the adjustment, have you? No. So we'll do that. Setting you said you So now we are putting it back on and once we have done it, we'll put it against the wall, get the little bit of alignment done because now the angle of the bulb has changed. It's become more straight and wall. Okay, that's why my shirt is dirty. Thank you, Manish. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> so now the bulb is more straight and uh, then we'll align it and we'll see how so we are going back in the same process bolts back on first no need to over tighten it pass perfect nichele tight ho gaya so what we need to do is we need to align it first before we lock it in place keep it here lift this up yeah see this is placed around it's not placed right correct you don't want to hear that sound <laughs> that's okay it's just plastic it's not going to break so easily and the best way to align it right is from here hmm. push push once this one is pushed then no no you hold it you can take the video <laughs> keep it loose lock this here first once that is locked lift this up right everything goes back in place butter smooth same thing on the first the first one is this one because this is free it goes in very easily and then help you give it a pivot point lift this up put this line one step at a time yep all set and everything is in